Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm grooming a dog. All right, if you're new here, hi, I'm Claire. I'm a dog groomer. This channel isn't about dog grooming. It just happens to be part of my life, which this channel is about. So I actually quit my job at a salon. I'd been working as a groomer in a salon for a decade, and I quit at the end of last year, um, but, if you're not new here, you know how I am about a side hustle. Everyone should have one, and of course, mine is my skill of grooming. I often like to look to speed cleaning videos uh, for motivation, but also for the satisfaction. So I thought that even if you're not into dogs, even if you're not a groomer, or have any interest in grooming whatsoever, I just thought that maybe we'll try a speed grooming video, and not only will you get to see all the things that go into making a dog look adorable, but it's very satisfying. Um, I know this is kind of different for this channel, so definitely let me know if you like it and if you want to see me do this kind of stuff because I, you know, really enjoy it and I do get a lot of satisfaction out of completing a groom, so maybe you will too. All right, here is my setup. I keep all of my grooming supplies in my entryway closet and I groom in my entryway because it is tile, so it's really easy to clean up this area. My dogs both know what's going on when I get the table out and they also know that this means that they get their special raw hides that they get to chew outside. Um, that way, uh, whatever dog I'm working on doesn't get stressed out by my dogs. So they go outside for this part. And here he is, this is Bean. He is a cockapoo that I have been grooming for many, many years. He gets groomed very regularly, so he doesn't have like so much uncontrollable hair. Um, but I do like to get off a little bit before the bath just because it cuts down on the blow drying time. And Bean, like most dogs, isn't a huge fan of the blow dryer. So I find that it just keeps him a little less stressed if we can just get a little bit of that hair off, especially on his head because most dogs, but especially Bean, doesn't really like his head to be blow dried. I'm also going to shave out his pads and use my Dremel um, to grind his nails. I like to do this before the bath because often um, things that have to do with the feet are the most stressful part for dogs. I know he looks like not stressed at all, um, but you know, I know his feet are not his favorite thing. So if we just get that out of the way first, he can definitely have a much less stressful groom because he doesn't have to worry about that part. Now it's time to give him a nice bath. I will leave links to the shampoo that I'm using because I really, really love it. It's nice and mellow. It's the same thing I use professionally in the salon, and I've just had really good luck with it with all of the dogs that I groom, including my own. Thank you. 
Now it is time to blow dry. I think Bean sort of appreciates that I have a smaller blow dryer than what I used to use with him at the salon. Because it's a little quieter and a little more mellow, I went ahead and used some coat conditioner on him. And when it's time for his head, you'll see that I back up about a foot or two just so that it's a little bit kind of less scary and less loud on his face. Now it's time to brush him out. I use two different slicker brushes, um, one that's a little bit more intense than the other because his legs are a little bit longer than his body. I'm also taking this time to make sure any little mats or tangles get taken care of. He just has a couple tiny ones between his toes and I'm gonna take those out with thinning shears uh, so that the comb or the guard comb that I'm going to use for his cut doesn't snag because that would really hurt. Now it's time to start his full haircut. I'm actually using a different length on his body than I am on the legs. I think with his hair, because it's got kind of a nice wave and a bit of texture to it, it just looks really good and more balanced to have the legs be just a tad bit longer than the body. So I'm doing the body first and then I'm gonna go in with a different guard comb for the legs. This isn't something I do with all dogs, but his coat really looks nice this way, so this is how I've always done it. And now comes what I think is the most fun part, but it's also definitely the most difficult part and the part that takes the most skill, and that is scissoring. These are super long shears. I prefer like a 10 inch shear, um, especially on long legs like this because I can really get them nice and column-like and even in as few snips as possible. Um, but I just go over every leg. I'm combing everything in every different direction and just really trying to get a nice manicured leg.
Now I'm gonna go ahead and switch to my curved shears to trim his cute little feet. He has the best coat for these fluffy little beveled feet and I just love the way they turn out. And of course, I have to trim up his little bum and make sure that his tail is even with the rest of his body. I usually like to do this with scissors rather than with the guard comb. Now it's time for the cutest part of the groom, which is Bean's adorable little face. I love that he gets shaved ears. His parents prefer it that way, and I think it is just darling. Anytime you take a dog's ears short like that, they look more like a puppy, which I think is wonderful. So I'm just using a combination of scissors, thinning shears, and a couple different guard combs on his face, trimming between the eyes, making sure he has an even jawline, and scissoring around those ears so that they're nice and tight and he looks like a cute little puppy. The very last steps of the grooming process are to clean out those ears with ear cleaner. Um, I'm also going to spritz him with a little bit of cologne and add a darling little bandana just so that he knows he's done and he gets so excited when he's done. This is my favorite part. He gets down and he immediately goes over to the toy bin and wants to play with the toy. Like I literally have never seen anything so cute in my life. I can't believe this dog is so comfortable with me that he just wants to play when he's all groomed. I just love it. He's so cute. All right, you guys, Bean was just picked up. Oh, I love him so much. I feel like every groomer has like a few dogs that they're just like, mm, I would take you home if you needed one. And that is true. If Bean ever, for some reason, needed a home, I would take him in a heartbeat. I love him. But anyway, it took me about an hour and 45 minutes at the salon. It usually goes just a smidge faster because the blow dryers there are a little more powerful, but 
it worked out fine. Um, now I just have a little bit of hair all over and I just will vacuum that up, pop my things back into my closet for next time. And there you go. That's how I groom dogs out of my house. So I know that this video is super different from what I normally do, um, but I just thought it would be fun and like why not try out this type of thing. So if you liked it, definitely leave me a comment down below and like it and do all the things so that I know to make this type of content again. And of course, be sure you are subscribed and come on back because I post two videos every single week and we'd love to have you over here in our lovely little community. So be sure to do that and I will see you guys in my next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.